All right, well, first things first, I guess. Yeah, that looks better. Neat. So I guess old Greta was right. The ice caps are melting and the polar bears are fucked just because of the shit that we burn in our truck. Not. It's a fucking blizzard here for Fox Creek. It just won't stop snowing. This is all wrong. So spring is coming and uh, that means a lot of things for my fat ass. One, well, it means my legs probably gonna get stuck in the mud and come off and I'm gonna have to pull that out of the dirt. And, and there's probably gonna be a bunch of shit going on with and uh, you know, the whole planet exploding and this, that, and the other thing. I'll bet I get blamed for this. Oh, I've wasted my life. But there's one mint fucking thing that comes with spring, and that is that the Richie Bros auction starting up uh, March 1st and March 10th here in uh, Grande Prairie. Oh, f so me and Junior were sitting there, and I said, uh, Stinker. His dad, oh, and I call him a boy stinker because when he was a kid, he uh, he had a stinky ass. And also, it, for Halloween, he wore a, a skunk costume, which is pretty cute, so call him stinker. So anyway, stinker was saying to me the other day, he says, Daddy, you, you need a picker truck like the neighbors got. And I said, Stinker, you, you got that right. You darn tootin'. Daddy does need a picker. So, fired up the old auction, the old RV auction there, and, uh, you know, I was looking through all the picker trucks, and everything had nice paint on it, and looked pretty minty, and, oh, well, I can't afford any of that fancy pants. Yet. And I went on old counterfeit Craigslist and looked through all the shit and everybody wants a whole pile of cash and I can afford that shit. Facebook Marketplace, nothing. No picker trucks, no high ups, no f all. But then I remembered that it's cold outside and my memory is as short as my pecker is. So we had some interference things going on and I completely fucking forgot. Well, I already own one of these piles of shit. And let me tell you, oh, she's slippery out here. This is Carl and Terry. Like many youngsters in the CHAMP program, they lost their limbs in accident. Kimmy! Uh, this f***ing... This snow is not like the old lady. It's not handicap accessible. But, uh, I already own one of these f***ing hot rods. And let me tell you, she's a little more up to my f***ing kind of standards. She f***ed. Alright, so I parked this old dirt, and she's been here a while, so I'll get into the dirt. I parked her here last... would have been... Late summer, early fall, I think I bought it. Drove her out here, figured out the hydraulic pump was on the old uh, high hub. So like any hillbilly, tore it all apart, lost all the fittings, all the parts, all the and all the stuff, and it's completely fucked. And then it was half ass on the deck, and well, as you can see, it's frozen into the ground over there. And everything is a giant frozen pile of shit. Well, it's, it's yeah, shitty, but it, it isn't that shitty stinky old dodge i think it's gonna take some doing what for when i parked this thing here she has one winded 7.3 power smoke diesel in her <clears throat> what's a dirty is that f sick but if there's anything to be learned about uh oil patch trucks is there's one thing that they do a lot that old greta hate and they idle and they idle and then they idle some more so i don't know how many hours this old has got on it but i'm gonna guess all of it but we're gonna get her going when i parked her here the uh ipr and the, the, the things that make you want to do a come and swap were all decked on it. So I got to go ahead, pull the ranch open. We're going to do the old peg and legging style startup where we just hose her with the Cosby sauce and hope for the best because everything else. All right, well, enough, John. Let's get to her. But much like anything out here, there's just so much shit packed into such a small spot. And no, not Dodge Guy style. But everything in the yard is just jam and packed shit everywhere. And I won't be able to get through that hole there. And this hole here is no, can I make it through there? No, I can't make it through there because everything up trying. But with every negative, there's a positive. You guys get to watch this thing. The environment, man, is a thing mint. But the reason she's sitting here is because she's a little too. Splitter valve on the shifter is fucked. She's leaking wind like a motherfucker. I gotta go ahead and swap that out and uh, then we'll the fuck out of this old sweetheart. Man, be a fat cripple and walking through a foot of snow sucks. But, uh, so I call all the gear shops in town. They didn't have this. Special Officer Duke, you report me. So I'm like, what the fuck? Went on Google, typed her in on Amazon, and yeah, she's Chinese as but they sell the exact replica f***ing splitter on Scamazon. How the is that? Came to my house in f***ing days. And by house, I mean Echo Shack. Oh, when you're fat and crippled too, and your memory sucks, going across the yard like 35 times to grab f***ing tools sucks. So you just grab all of them. 
cooked it, I use this thing way more than I use my bird nowadays, and that includes pissing. If you're a gearhead and you're always giving her on and you don't have a Letterman, I feel bad for you. <sighs> the dirt that's jammed in these thing is unreal. No wonder she got bunged up. Kind of sucks that a guy's got to run Chinese in here, but I mean, no one else had it for Fox Creek. All right, well, let's do what I do best. Well, I don't know how many Cosby sauce on me, but uh, cold the out of this old sweetheart. Come on, girl. Oh, everything just sounds cold. It's like minus 10 out or It's just pretty warm. Oh, the gas. Warms up. Let's go see if I can't blow the door off the skid steer again. Unbreakable. All of the windshield, for fuck's sake. Is this glass ever expensive? I mean, I still have a little bit of hillbilly diamonds left over. What for uh, doing a window delete on the last window? Man, those do doors are delicate. Just them doors are like libtard speeders. Except they don't call you racist every time you make a valid argument. Bingo. Feller's got to learn about living in the country, and that is, it doesn't matter how many projects you get finished, everything is always a little bit filled out, giving her plowing snow, everything mint. Well, and then the bucket fell off one side. I'm like, what the sweet is going on? Well, lo and behold, the uh, mechanisms here open and close the, uh, the locks. This is one lock, and I'm going to give you five guesses as to where the other locks are. First four don't count in the snowbank somewhere. God damn, son of a. I'm gonna spend hours looking for that pile of shit. So what I'm gonna do is I just went hobbling around, found some uh, axle. Uh, that round stock is definitely pretty hard. That's just too small. Heard that before. But I do have this drag link off an old K-Whopper and I took the old drill bit to her and she looks like mild steel. So let's make another one. All right, now for the easy task of turning this into this. Oh yeah, five minute job for Creek. You don't need to know what you're fucking doing if you don't worry about safety. Oh, because lathes and uh, amputees get along like uh, libtards and hard work. It's not a good time. Look at I even bought fucking fancy pants tooling for this thing that's barely even out of China and right off Amazon while I was taking a. Shit. I'll barely even fuck all this shit up. All right, so let's get to lathing this fucking thing. Just before you start on a feller for uh, not knowing what he's doing, I really don't. I'm doing and I haven't even watched any videos other than AVE's videos and I'm usually drinking too much beers to uh really get any information out of that so let's this thing up ruin all my tooling and uh have a 
fucking time. hot when I finally put some gloves on but I got her all milled down fits in the hole better than good and now I'm just gonna fucking, uh, looks like I got to cut some kind of an angle on her there cut the angle drill some holes make her mint alrighty we got a nice little dirty hangle on there matched up minty oh, man I wonder if I spent as much time rooting through the snowbank as I did trying to build another one if I would have found it by meow well at least this way I'm kind of half-ass guaranteed that this might work alrighty so I got her dialed down both sides be able to gape that out with a grinder, but uh, I drilled that hole down through the center, throw the torch thing through, and then uh, make her mint. Mint! All right, and I'll just use this big stinky square edge grinding disc here, and make her mint. Well, it doesn't look like I went out and bought something, but it looks like it's gonna work. Now we can finally put this together after three hours around and get on with the old start see this is how it is out in the sticks so i kind of improved on their design i just welded it in there because the next point i work on is probably gonna be my fat ass so there she is mint this side same thing so i just tapped her for meow she's barely even holding on there what i'm gonna do is head outside see if she hooks up if she hooks up mint welder solid color a day You know, this in-floor beauty. All from the woods, Willard, you're stunned. And it uh, doesn't matter if you got the door open. It stays nice and toasty in here. Fuck is this beauty. All right, let's get the fiddle fucking her and get her. Well, there you go. If you ever wanted to know how to turn a K-Whopper drag link into a pin for your skid steer, let me just learn how. A little bit of Newfoundlander Loctite on there. Bolt ain't going fucking anywhere. You're going nowhere. All right, so the word of the week is fucking struggling. My fat ass has been struggling hard. This thing's a piece of shit. Everything owns a piece of shit. Even the desk that I found in the dump fell apart this morning. And I had to go ahead and put three fucking screws in it and hot glue the thing back together. And then my hat that I found at the dump that I glued the camera riggings to, well, it fell apart. And that's just, you know what? That's just the way she goes. So let's get the fucking tub up to speed. And let's get this tub of shit up to speed. And uh, go get that old fur fire. What, what else is gonna fuck up today? I'm just, I'm just tickled pink to see what the next thing in a completely train wreck. Well, I mean, there's one good thing about everything being all the time, and well, that is, I got a double cold start the K Whopper now, and oh, look at stun brigade. Is she stunned? And no, I'm not gonna run her over with the skids here. All right, so this is minus 40. This is minus 30. This is minus 20. We're dealing with like a, maybe a minus 15 right now. So, you know, that, that's 12 inches right there. Come on, sweetheart. No wind left in her, imagine that. Oh, the ketchup. Oh, she's not happy. Come on. Come on. We're gonna go get the Cosby sauce. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Oh, she doesn't need to 
wasabi sauce. Well, she does, but I'm not going to get any. Just working that two bolt, two four bolt system. Oh, right to the mat. Oh yeah, I rubbed. sitting at home in your jerk off station pulling her heart saying peg what happened to you he used to go and walk through three feet of snow and do cold starts and this that and the other yeah i'm old and fat now and uh that i mean how long did you want my old fat ass to hang out for before i finally fell apart i'm struggling here i'm struggling stock battery connections to tell you the truth i don't know we'll, we'll just grab old well, there was something I come to realize yesterday when I was firing up the old screw cab schlong box with the old lady go a load of water. And that was that the John Deere Cosby sauce works awesome. If she's minus 20 or, or colder, that's, uh, that's communist measurements. But if it's any warmer than that, man, you got some hard and, uh, well, she's just trying to fire the piston back down before she's ready to party. And, and I guess that's where the AC comes in. So this is for the, uh, you know, Minus 20 and warmer, and minus 20 and colder, I guess, because man, that stuff was really tickling on the old danger zone. The lid always breaks off of these things. Just listen to the A block, just giving her. So, like I was saying yesterday, whatever day it was, um, I really don't know what's going to involve getting each being that uh, she's been sitting here at least, oh, at least a year and with the uh the fancy and hydraulic oil system and this that and the other so uh we're gonna give her the peg and leg and give her all the way and just pour ether into it until something happens either explosions or she fires up <clears throat> or both oh, come on oh yeah oh yeah is this thing still tied in oh yeah so we'll be able to see how much hiss eye the old uh, h pop is making and uh oh is it it's gonna need a fast idle stick to put open well that's a perfect one right there make a leg out of that later actually poplar sucks wooden legs oh, you gotta go birch custom made it's what they use on the space shuttle magic legs yeah let's add some batteries i don't think i stole any parts off of it but uh, i probably did well let's add some batteries and then spray out of it so we're adding electrical problems right out of the gate, being that it's got a Mopar battery. I don't even know where at that, but it's probably... Uh, but now the bird's gonna have second-hand electrical problems. Oh, there's all clicking, you hear that? Sounds like some Ethiopian feller. 
Uh, you might want to turn the key off. Oh, there's dash lights. There's a terrible noise coming from under the hood. Man. All right, so she's all kind of coming back to me right now. I'm pretty sure that this thing wasn't getting fuel of some kind. It would start and run like and then you just die, even you're holding right the mat. And then I didn't know if it was the high pressure oil pump or the, uh, what the cock sucker that regulates it. The regulator under here, oh, there's all kinds of acronyms for these pieces. But yeah, this cock sucker down here, I swapped her out. Uh, the IPR, uh, IPR valve, that's what she is. And then uh, I swapped it out. I swapped this out to tell the computer how much pressure she's getting. And it was around so uh i talk to my buddy stephen cox there if you don't like stephen cox which his last name was if you don't like cox you, you probably don't drive a dodge but um if you don't like stephen cox you go check him out he went through a big dirty divorce and had to start up a new channel but guys been but but anyhow so I said uh peg and legging stunned and uh well it turned out he was right and told me what was wrong with it and I forget again but I fixed her up and she fired. So then I put a big dirty programmer on it and drove up and down the road blowing black smoke out. So that was sweet. So this doesn't have solenoid on the fender, I remember. So we got to do her off from under the hood or in the cab, I guess. There's a wire under here that you can arc. Is it this one right here, actually? I think it's right here, actually. This cocksucker runs down to the starter. I think. Oh, there's one that runs down to the starter and stuff. I think it is that one actually. Yeah, it looks like it's partying down there. So let's see if we can just unplug that. And jam her on here. Let's see. Oh yeah, crap mint. So what we're gonna do, turn the key on, stab that home, and then just spray coffee sauce into it. Now I love spraying coffee sauce like a mother. And it's probably going to happen. But we'll just see if there's any glow plugs left in it. I, I don't think there is, but we we'll might as well try. Might as well. Listen to that clicking noise. What is that? There's a little vacuum pump on there. I don't even know where the exhaust dials are. What are the chances that the diesel's probably water and she's all gelled up? Let's give her one more cycle on the key. Yeah. Uh, haven't even had a beer yet this morning. All right, let's crank it, see what happens. <laughs> now let's get high pressure oil. <laughs> That's exciting. So you see on the old piss eye gauge here, She's getting about uh, 500 piss eye. Let's we'll see. Oh, f aches. Uh, let's see. Well, that's good. Can you hear how it's cranking evenly? Fucking sack. Well, let's just see here. He's my brand new Letterman. Oh, now which one's hooked? Grid heater. You don't want that one. You, yeah, these things got a grid heater and. Set a glow plug in her. I don't know. Oh, we'll just do this, the can glow plug. Ain't nobody got time for glow plugs. Let's see here. Cosby sauce engaged. Oh, yeah, there's some knocking going on in there. Come on.
right up. That's matted. Electronic bolt. Let's see if this thing works. Well, it's gonna try to floor it for me from in here. And I'll go spray it with Cosby sauce. Oh, they got oil pressure? Oh yeah, it's got oil pressure. I mean, she runs real good at an idle. We'll just idle it up manually. With Cosby sauce. Listen to her run. It doesn't sound that bad. It's not even cheating. I got her matted and there's nothing happening. Oh, it's, oh. Oh, it's doing things. It says it's supposed to be running at 1350 and it ain't running at 1350. Let's just see here. Oh. What are our other options here? Is there a ketchup option? 1350, 13 and 1350, six. Turn the chip up more? No, nothing. Oh, maybe. This thing very lackluster. You can't even redline the guts out of it. Junk. Oh, the fuel pedal came back to life. Oh yeah, that's where you want her. way better now let's see if she'll idle up i'm gonna probably put the e-brake on i think this thing had a function e-brake and then is there you had to and turn the lights on time stick your fingers in the old lady's piss flaps and then dance around in circles is there or did i want to switch up a light going on for the parking brake you know how you fast idle my old ball valve a stick, mint, under parking brake lights. So she won't idle up, so we gotta use a stick. Oh, we still have a little left over from the hood prop. There, 1500 sounds good. Turn the heat on. Oh yeah, that works. Yeah, a little more high idle action. Two grand sounds good. In. Doesn't sound that bad. How are we doing for blow line? Oh. No blow line. Oh yeah, I put a lot of Lucas in this. Not even. This thing's not a 7.3. here for about four or five hours and let her idle and hopefully it'll just melt its way out of the ice. I'm gonna wish it one hand on the other hand and see what it builds up first on that one. But I hope when it parked it I left the hub blocked in because she is frozen sitting on the front dip. That's probably bad. And I mean the, the, the crane's probably frozen in or the high up you want to call it picker knuckle boom but she's frozen in the dirt. Let's just see how she feeds ketchup. How the 
this much snow get on the goddamn seat. Uh, we'll see how she does catch up now that she's kind of warm. It's kind of gutless. I don't think this chip does anything. I don't think so, anyways. Does the tunes work? No. Everything. I hate how they put gov so you can't even dial it right into the ketchup. Like, why even have it if you're not gonna use it? Tell me you're stunned without saying you're stunned. Driving over here and then starting plowing snow when you forgot you put a chain in the bucket. But I found it. Man. All right, well. That's if I didn't at least try to knock it out of here on her own, but uh, I don't reckon that's good. Man, the heat works good thing. But I don't reckon that's gonna happen. Oh, the e-brake light's on now. Let's see. I'm telling you, she's coming back to life. Yeah. All right. Well, the door isn't shut. She needs to go on deep rock in the shop for a bit, eh? All right, well, I don't know if I remember to lock the hubs in. They probably were locked in. Oh yeah, locked. Out of here, that's gonna be amazing. Oh. Let's see here. Uh. Oh, got her. Didn't even write off the letterman yet. I can't believe how this thing runs. It did not run as good when I parked it. All right, let's see if we can't fire my part numbers out. Does the e brake actually work? Maybe it does. All right, let's see. That's a bad noise. It might be like half frozen and half engaged, but I'm gonna guess we blew it up. Cause they're just like some pot aluminum slidey thing and metal in there. do a burnout oh yeah it will You don't need to worry about the smell of burning clutch. All right, let's see. It'd be cool if it had four wheel drive. It'd be way better if I didn't blow that. All right, meow. What if I was gonna do? Oh, my dog's stunned. But what if I was gonna do? Let's grab the old skid steer. I'll try to lift up on each side and see if I can't break her free. Not a whole lot to hook to. Well, that feels strong. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Come on. Oh, of course the chain comes undone. Oh, it's kind of jammed in there though. Come on. Let's blow the skid steer door out. the wheel here and just rip on that because when we're pulling on suspension I mean that is a bad time like sometimes it'll just party the axle right out from underneath her <sighs> ask me how I know
You're stunned. Uh, are you guys stunned? You're stunned. All right. This side done. All right. Uh, hook it on there. Off. You don't need to worry about blowing the door off again. skid steer with the truck and gear and uh, you know just give her one little bump she comes out of the ruts smash into the skid steer window right off man that window is delicate you're probably wondering like peg why do you have this junk pilot back of this thing truth is i don't even know i you know a bit of a moment of weakness at the auction and next thing you know you own that you don't even know what it is all right so we don't have enough chain to go from the truck, I don't reckon, to the truck. So we'll just go to this giant pile of that I bought, to the truck, because that's safe. All right, Meow, I hope this thing's actually unfroze from the ground kind of thing. What for, uh, if it ain't froze from the ground, or unfroze, what do you say? It's gonna be a bad time, but we're just gonna learn that the hard way. You're wondering, hey, Peg, you know, what do you mean it'll if she's still frozen to the ground? Well, this old K-Whopper, she ain't gentle. She's got a lot of get up and go. Man, all right, low, low, even lower. Oh. oh, I think I just broke the chain. Thanks. All right, she broke the chain. So now we're gonna have to put a safety knot in it. Maybe two. Oh, you don't need to worry about safety knots. All right, let's try her again. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's try her again. She is in there. Bad things are happening with the crane. Oh yeah. Yeah, bad things are happening with the old picker. She's definitely frozen in the ice, and that's the only thing holding her in right now. So I think what a feller's gonna have to do is uh oh yeah, that's safe. All the safety. So man, look at how sunk she was in the ice. So what a feller's gonna have to do is get my fat ass under there, rig on the hydraulic system, and try to that thing back to life like that, that's gonna be real easy let's see how she fires back up Fuck, this thing's mint let's see a little idle forward no that crane's got her frozen right there guess we gotta get, gotta get the high up working and uh beat on that thing too hard because she's probably pretty delicate 
All right, so, oh, there we go. So we're under here having a gander at her. That's not oil, that, uh, that's water. Identifies as water. But the hydraulic pump's gotta go in here. And uh, I'm laying a snowbank. And the hose ain't gonna be long enough because the last pump came out from the back and this pump's gonna come out from the side. So this is gonna be a giant pile of concrete. And another problem too is, I see the drive shaft, it's gonna be right close to that goddamn pump so so I wasn't lying to you about this old they got the uh, side ports plugged off and they got the last iron cock sucker bolts to the back which uh, sends fluid out the bottom instead of or out the back instead of out the sides and the thing about this setup is this will be clocked like this on the truck which will cause some giant when it comes to the uh, bottom line but you know, if we got to put it on her like that, we will. But uh, I'm just going to see if I can fuck this thing and see if I can't run this housing on the back of this pump. Probably a bad idea, but uh, it'll go. Because, I mean, bad idea is done at a high speed or sometimes a good time. F and A, Cotton, F and A. All right, so we got the back side of the new pump taken off. And uh, she's just a flat surface on the back. And I wonder what this guy looks like. This one's got two holes in her. This one ain't got two holes in her. It's just got her blocked off. So it looks like the other one was casted. So the uh, right here, you could have had a, you could have had fluid running through it. Well, this one you can't. So that's another one of those. Uh, uh, that's another one of those uh, way she goes scenarios. Bubs, way of the road, buddy. So I'm just gonna file, try to make it longer. So I was having a gander just after I snipped it off. I'm like, what size is that? Jackal handle. That's what size it is. <laughs> Mint. All right, so after like 35 Terry Fox and it trips back and forth to the old furred there and cutting this off the jackal already, I figured that this doesn't have to be hard fitting. There's no pressure on there. So what I'm going to do is just make this thing whatever length I need right off the fitting, weld her up. Maybe and uh, yeah, maybe man, she'll go. All right, well, meow. I'm gonna do a bunch of sound on a uh, machine I didn't know I needed until I had it. Go ahead and take dirty old man. Look at that cut I did, just a treat. All right, made it all smooth. Meow, we're gonna have to take out some. Backside over here. So if a feller were to ask a feller, what's your favorite part about running a lathe there, Peg and Leggin? I would have to say, I can almost hear the sound of the uh, professional's buttholes at home tightening up when I go to run the thing. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing, but it sure is fun learning. You don't need to worry about ripping your finger off. I mean, you got 10 of them. All right, see if the, oh yeah, that's good. Throw it right in the metal shavings. All right, so that guy plugs in the mint. We'll be able to run some weld around there. I mean, she's a little bit gaped out, but that's fine. So if you see my fat ass here struggling, trying to run a lathe, there's a, there's a life lesson in that, being that there's too many kids nowadays sitting at home behind the computer, trying to go time when it comes to wrenching on old furs or whatever you got. My advice to you is go outside, tear the toolbox, and that, that's how you learn properly. The inner mint, but it should be a lot. Like, go outside, give her a go, and if you're well, then go in the house try to get her dialed in on the old interweb. Because in my experience, the internet just usually adds a bunch of mistakes. But most of the time, it's just a giant fiddler's fuck of a bunch of next. The thing to know what they're talking about. But in, real, in reality, they're stunned anyway, so... Go and learn the hard way. It's a good time either way she goes. Thing, just giving her. Does that mean I know what I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'll barely even let her party with the tool holder. All right, I'm gonna do this fast because this cocksucker's hot. Oh. Hot knows that if you go fast, it won't burn you. So this thing says China right on it. They're not even trying to be discreet about selling our countries down to the but. Uh, it was probably full of all kinds of purities and so it's gonna weld real nice. All right, so before I start burning in some porosity here, you guys gotta check. 
So I went to Princess Auto yesterday and they had chainsaw file sets on for two dollars, two bucks, and they had and, uh, oh, they had uh, gloves on for ninety nine. Where the fuck did those go? Ninety nine cent gloves. Not these fancy red ones. These ones, ninety nine cents. They're probably gonna light on fire, but I'm not that worried about it. I'm gonna have gloves. You don't need to worry about the 99 cent glove lighting on fire. All right, well, three things just happened. One, hair lip. May or may not have forgot to uh, switch his machine from uh, 035 flux core to 035 uh, like solid wire. And the uh, little roller dealie in there that pushes her through. She's awfully aggressive with the, uh, with the flux wire. Well, it wrapped my tip and everything. So the wire was bunging up. Second thing that happened, might have forgot to turn the gas on. Third thing that happened, uh, a little bit of porosity boiling up through the steel, which led to uh, a weld that looked like it needed to be grinded a lot, but she's good. She'll hold. Alrighty, let's go land the snow bank. Man, okay. are you guys stunned? Whether I'm not throwing a stick for you, I'm wrenching on a truck. Jenny, you're stunned too. Oh. Why don't you guys go paddle a boat up Dum Dum River for Says the guy laying on the ground underneath the pee. Oh, All right. We'll stick the thing in here and figure out up or something. Oh. Now I kind of put a bit of a dink end on that. I could slide in there. Oh yeah, lickety split. All right. Well, this might be a bit of an issue here. Being that, oh no, that's good. We'll put one bolt kind of half ass in there. Oh. Are we going? Oh, we're going. Mint. Come on. Now, looking at this thing, it would be better if this thing was pointing up that way. So, you know, I think up. Oh, she's never the wrong size ranch when she's a Kresge, eh? You don't need to worry about rounding everything off. Probably a little late to take that ORB O-ring out of there, isn't it? You don't need O-rings. A little more. I'm gonna grab onto it. Oh, I'm stunned, but I'm not that stunned. You know, hindsight being 2020. It would have been better off to uh, have this thing separate, so like have another filler there, so you could take it on and off without having to take it to pump out. But I'm not that smart. Just take a look at this dog. He's stunned. Jenny, you're stunned too. What a dwarf. Yeah, I know, you're stunned. All right, let's go struggle. If that dog brains were dynamite, the poor pup wouldn't have enough to blow his nose. Me as he's stunned. Oh. oh yeah, that's damn near perfect. Mint. Mint. Is she going? I think so. Oh yeah, we're good. You don't need to worry about cross threading the JIC fittings. Mint. Call her a day. You don't need to worry about everything. Oh, forgot though. I think, Willards, you're stunned. I think I'm missing a fitting somewhere here. Yeah, I'm missing a fitting right there. Cock sucker. Oh, f Well, I'm gonna have to find that. What for, you don't have to worry about a little snow being in there. What for the uh, oil coming shooting out of the top of that? That'd be a bad time. It was some fancy pants fitting. What for uh, checking pressures? But I think I might be able to take it off. Yeah, I can take it off. We'll drill it out, MPT, and put a gauge in there. All right. Well in here and I don't know what size that is I don't think it's 1 8 MPT Let's see is that 1 8 no it's some you know what a guy can do actually we're gonna grind that up nice and then we're gonna weld on there and then we're gonna call it all right let's we'll struggle in the spot you don't need to worry about all the snow falling in there like, why does high up have to be difficult just make a pipe or JIC not your fancy thread that I have to you know how many trips to town this would have taken if you did it properly or properly 
you see the walk back and forth to the shop is the inspiration behind using the Kresge wrench instead of the right size wrench. All right, here goes another Terry Fox run. Here, there. Oh, we're gonna go until it starts to loosen again. Man, so my weld. So I'm pretty excited with that because that'll just be the pressure relief if uh, if things start to go bad. And I'll barely even get hit in the face of this gauge at like 7,000 miles an hour. Just gotta crawl under there now and open up Alex. Oh, some mint and prick put a ball valve in here, a gate valve. What for uh, service blew up. I forgot a can of Cosby sauce. This thing's been sitting for like five minutes. Probably needs a snort. Let's see. Oh, don't go in the holes. And we're in the holes. Oh, she run in. Oh, up. Oh, there's the PTO. Should be spinning. Oh, I think. <laughs> I think I found my <laughs> weak spot in my weld there. Oh, come on. Oh, she's making all the piss eye. I don't know what function does what here. We might want to back the pressure relief valve just a little bit, you know. There, that's 25 hundy. That's pretty fair. I'll go a little bit more than that. There. Oh, that's the legs. That's the leg over there. Oh no. Damn thingy. Oh, that's the leg. The leg over there. Oh no. Ram thingy. All right, what's this one? That one's a telescoping riggins. Oh yeah, she's frozen down. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she goes. Look at that chain on there. On there. Oh, I think we know what's going on here. Little John. Oh. Gotta go down a little bit here. There we go. Mint. Yeah, oh yeah. We got a guaranteed case of John. Giving her all the way. Yeah. Mint. We need more RPMs. There, now we should have control. Yeah. This is in. Spin it. Oh yeah, you don't need to worry about the legs being down. This thing never went this fast. Well, let's just see if a guy can run over here. And then lift the truck up with it. Oh, I'm back over here. It's pretty much a jackal. Oh yeah, that's safe. Yeah. All I do is toss some wood under there. Oh yeah, safety. You guys hear that safety? All right, I'll toss wood under there and mint. Gonna push that dirty old plywood out of the way there. Oh yeah. Now she's handicap accessible over there. Uh, her up. Oh yeah, bud. Oh, we're rallying right off the ground. Mint. Tire still holding wind? Oh this is safe. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the front yet. I think I might grab the skid steer. Uh, wonderful come back and the uh the truck's dead what do you reckon she's out of diesel because she's got a bit of a i'm gonna reckon uh maybe well says she's got a half a tank <laughs> 
Sounds like she's out of diesel. I'm able to let her down. No, this thing doesn't, oh, it parties. Oh yeah, we're good. Do you think it's out of diesel or do you think it's a There's like one hole getting diesel here. Mother. Let's cycle the glow plugs or the fuel pump like 700 times. Fires right up and then dies, eh? It's got no fuel pressure or no fuel pressure. What for? They're frozen or something. Cause I, cause I mean, like that high up isn't even, isn't even in an inconvenient spot at all. Like it, it looks pretty good. I got, I got the kind of run. Let's zoom in before bad things happen. Man, well, I'd prefer if you didn't die, you. But if you got to die, you can do it now. Getting real low fuel pressure or something. Well, now it's kind of running. It's got a brand new fuel filter, and I put her in before I parked it, trying to figure out what's going on with this piece of shit. Well, I'd really like to work on it in the shop, so we're going to lift up on this side with just the kids steer and see if we can get it out of here. Now, to try to find fuel filler on this. Oh, there it is. Mint. Oh, drink up. I hope it's diesel. I'll, I'll gladly eat crow and be like, oh yeah, it's my fault for not putting fuel in it, but uh, whether you're stunned. I hope that's the case. We're we're going to wish in one hand see which one fills up first, but uh, let's just test our lady luck on one here. I mean, you might as well. I wonder if I could push it out with this thing. Now, that might be an idea. Push. Oh, bud. Come on. Oh. Oh, don't knock in that goddamn hole. We're gonna put this block under the tire here. There. Why is that block not working? All right. Oh, up is down and down is up. All right. Let's see. If can go get out of here, meow. I'm sick of tired of this thing. I wanna go in the house. Get her. Oh, or Echo Shack. I know. I'm not trying to church it up. Ding, 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 ding. Dude, seat belt. What's that ding about? Oh, yeah. Alright, we're going to shut it off. What for? I don't know how much fuel is in it. Oh, she just runs mint now with gas in it. Or diesel. You don't need to worry about 1203 and 1202. Sweet mother Getting a truck into a shop should never be that difficult. Whether you're stunned, we're not going anywhere. All right, but we got her in here. Now we're gonna let her fill up the drain to, well, she's gonna Rain what for turning Canadian water into American water. Yeah, got her in here. Man, reek diesel and it burns your eyes every time it runs, but uh, I want a good truck with a picker on it. And uh, this, her, this is her. Look at this thing. Mint. Well, I didn't blow smoke up your ass and tell you you were on fire. She's filled the drain about, uh, oh, twice already. A lot of snow on that pile. But I'd just like to say, appreciate you guys watching to the end.
Fox bid you. I enjoyed making it. Much of a pain in the ass this old furd was. And I gave thanks today that uh, I'm not a nub on one leg because uh, this thing gets a hold of a feller's good arms and next thing you know they're doing a delete on him. But I just got a little here that I wanted to go over before uh, giving thanks to all them mint pricks that uh, keep my boat afloat. Um, shadow banning. I guess uh, my Instagram and the, uh, the rest of them platforms have been uh, banned like crazy. What for uh, me offending a few uh, left-leaning type. So a big ass thanks. Go to the old Patreons there. Keep my freedom of speech free. Well, they're paying for it anyhow. Speaking of the minty Patreons, uh, someone's actually been getting in there and reporting out of my Patreon videos. I don't know how they're doing that unless some guy's paying to hate on me or whatever. Is, but uh well i don't know i didn't your sandwich bud so quit mine for fox creek so now one of them's age restricted so if you're a patreon of mine you have to sign into your account to view you and prove that you're over 18. Ugh. my minty buddy tony there he's uh got it degrees with the videos um he was saying that uh he's got a solution and he's working on it here but uh just for right now we gotta along with what's going on and uh it's not too bad but i don't really like how Minty Patreons pay for uh, pay for some content. And they got to jump through a bunch of hoops. Worst part about heated floors, though, you put your beer down there to keep her cool because you think it would be cool, and it's hotter than a two dollar pistol. But like always, I'd like to give a shout out to all Minty Patreons. These are all the new guys here, and a bunch of Minty pricks that gave me a raise. Speaking of which, uh, a feller's balls might have been in the vice there for a little bit, and uh, what well, you guys did, a bunch of Minty that I didn't think you'd do, and you gave me a bunch of raises. So. Yeah. You gotta, oh, it's unreal, man. I don't know what to fucking say. Stupid, probably. Yeah, you guys don't know my fat ass. I still bailed my ass out, and uh, I gotta say, mighty mint you. I don't know how to repay it other than making and shit up, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Alrighty, so here's the new Patreons. We got 10 by. We got Tony Knoll, Tom Sharpen, Lawrence Rose, Colton Oaks. Justin Barber, Joseph Dunton, Juke Rutledge, Jack, uh, Jack Parasia, Garrett Ellis, Colton Powers, Cletus Snowman, and Charlie Putin, or Poolin, like a Poolan chainsaw. 15 buckers, we got Downtown Brown <laughs> and Alex. And 20 bucks is uh, Tyler Denby, Squatch31, Simon Henry, OC, Joe Golomet, Derek Harris, Dale Coggin, and Al Taylor. Oh, we got the 25 bucks. We got Waylon, Solos and Sawdust, Dickard with Dave. I may or may not have met that man. And he's one of the fellers that uh, let me know about the Canadian censorship and how they're shutting any channel down and just all over guys. So they shut his channel down actually. And uh, a few other guys. It's just, it's just really it's just really hard to hear that uh, you know we're going down out because uh, the old speech is a slippery slope. And the next thing you know. China. Look at that sassy old pile of seven tree. Thirty bucks. We got Kyle Andes and, and a fitty. We got Gator McCuskey and we got Justin at a Hundy Beans and I've never had this before. This is crazy. We got Ethan Shanahan at two hundred and fifty bucks. But I don't even know what to say about that. That that's ridiculous. Oh man, like yeah, like I said, I'll say something stupid. So these are all the minty pricks that gave me a raise this month, and this is ridiculous. We got Cam Lippy. Jace, Ahib Mazimer, Jackson Cook, Christian Taylor, Jason Gallagher, Tom, Hellbilly Pete, Harlan McGee, Jordan Collins, Ryan O'Connor, Tim Duke, Redneck Rocket, Benjamin Brake, Martin Met, Hey Omeya, Christian Schooling, Clay, White Eggnog, Landon Hines, Ben Cylinder, 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 Ibrahim al -Kadi. At fifty fucking dollars, Carl Pelica, seventeen seventy six. Mint. We got Art of Death, JJD, fourteen eighty one. Wendell Jones, Stephen Andrews, Mark Adams, forty five forty five. Brian Garro, Maddie, Hey Omeya again. I guess he changed his pledge. Otto Siri, Michael Narnahan, Ian Mintz, fifty beans. Mint. Oh yeah, there's more. JP, fifty beans. Uh, Keith Pointer, Neil, Whalen, Brett Connor, ten beans. No, this this is a mouthful. Matthew Shimim Melifingnig. <laughs> Don, and your last name's huge, bud. That was Thank you very much. Kendall Snook and 80 Beans. Oh, that's 
Zach Sway, Brian Bartoli, Tim at 100 Beans, man. That's unreal. That's <laughs> Patrick S. Miller, Val, Arden Kudlase at a Fitty Beans, Kudlaski, Kudlaski, Travis at 100 Beans, man. Zane Prescott, Michael Rogers, Lazy A Ranch. Low, Lazy A Hole Ranch. That's a name. I changed your name, bud. McFerd Tough, 1981. John Callick, Kellier, Cactus Jones. That's man, that's a badass name. Travis H H at a hundred. Mint. Double odd buck. Chandler Wigginton, Brandon Gator McCluskey at Fitty Beans. Matt Chakra, Jason Trampio, Myron Ted Rowe. Oh, try to spell that. Ola Isa something or other. Maybe I spell him a bud. Thank you very much. Jaron Boblet, Jaron Bob Elliott. Bing, is that you, Bigger? Matthew Osmond, John Burnett, honey, real. James Sycard at Fitty Beans, meet. Robert Dibble, Stephen Andrews, Travis HH. Man, this guy gave me a double raise. Honey Beans. Alex, Andy's, Sir Nukes, David Pagel, unreal. And Brian Fairchild. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like I said before, I'll say something stupid, but, uh, well, appreciate it my eye for Christ's sake don't worry I'll wash it out with some beer oh and I don't know if I've said this yet but I switched over to bush lattes they don't give and they're almost the same price as PC light so these are just this a treat but running a high octane gas and a Briggs and scrap iron lawnmower I get all hot and bothered and next thing you know I want to go mow some lawns but thanks again for watching this terrible appreciate it till next time which shouldn't be long out your ass Oh yeah, one more thing before you go. Here's a little B8 therapy from uh, the one, the only, D Speed Shop. I uh, guess they don't take kindly to my can around here. Feels like Princess Auto. D Speed Shop? Hey, what's up, buddy? How you guys doing? Hi. Good to see you. Peach Up? Garage Burnouts, man. That's what they're here for. Dee Dee's Peach Up. Yeah.